This one's going to be on an old trick that you can do with Python. Uh, you can use Python as a simple web server. So I actually use this sometimes if uh, I'm too lazy to set up a SSH or something like that. And I don't want to, you know, use my USB to transfer files. I just want to use the, the internet. And it will actually uh, transfer it wirelessly real easy. So how do you do this? First thing you want to do is figure out your, um, you know, your computer here. This will be your server. Um, the IP address. So it's going to look at your router IP address and to figure that out you can do uh, ifconfig. Right, just run that sucker and it should work like if you're on like a Debian system or something like that. Uh, they use that uh, old one. If you're on like a newer system uh, like uh, Arch, they'll use IP uh, ADDR and that one will work fine too, right? Uh, so to figure out my IP address for this one, it's just uh, what is that here? 192.168.1.102, right? So that's all you gotta remember for uh, your server here. Now you also need to know your uh, Python version. So to figure that out, you do Python dash capital V here. And right now I'm using Python 3. So if you're using the older Python 2, uh, the command is a little bit different, but you know it does the same thing so don't do this part this one is just for me but I'll show you the commands here um, so this command is for Python 3 right and this one commands for Python 2 so it looks similar but it's a little bit different right so if I run this Python 3 here um, what it's going to do is actually create a uh, server that you can uh, um, browse to so the default port is uh, 8000 here Right, so that's all you gotta remember, 8,000. Now, let's say with this thing, this is, um, let's pretend that this is our external tablet or phone or laptop, whatever it is you have, doesn't matter. But all you gotta do is uh, use a web browser in there. So I'm gonna use this web browser here. And we're just gonna connect to our IP, which was uh, 192.168.1. Uh, 102 and the port was uh, 8000 so you go 8000 and there we go this is uh, our uh, home directory with all our uh, dot configs and everything right and you're gonna say we browse to documents and there we go this is all my documents in there and if I want to open uh, the text file I can uh, open it with text files they actually just render it in um, your um, what is that your browser but if it's like a PDF or something like that if you click on a PDF it will actually uh, download it right it will say start downloading here right um, or you can just right click on it and then you can go well I don't think you right click on the tablet here but if you click on it it will actually download it if it's a text file they'll let you uh, you know read it and all that uh, so that's how I use it to uh, transfer files if I'm really lazy and I don't have um, you know, I don't want to take out my USB to transfer it or uh, I don't want to set up SSH to do it. This is like no configurations at all. You just use your commands here, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. And the other one, what was the one that we did? So we did uh, this one and then we did uh, the other one here. So that one was Python 3. And it's the same thing with Python 2. You just run this command and you see that it will host, uh, you know, the same thing on port 88,000 here. Now if you want to change ports, okay, what the hell is that? If you want to change ports, you just run the command and at the end, if let's say we want to use uh, 8,005 or something, right? So we want to change different ports. Uh, that's fine too. Now it's 8,005. So if I refresh this one, I don't know if I can refresh it here. How the hell you refresh? There you go. Refresh. It's not going to work because um, we don't have that server anymore on that port. Um, hopefully it works. Does it work? Should be empty. Let's go back here. What the fuck? One second. Let me delete this here. Thousand. Yeah, I can't connect to it because, um, you know, we're not running on that port anymore. We're running on port uh, 8005 here. 
so to correct this, we just change this one to 8005 uh, for a different port, and it should work fine right now. See that? So that's that, and how you would uh, access it, you know, remotely uh, using a, a simple web server. Now, the server starts on the directory that you're currently in, so let's cancel out this here. So if I do a pwd, see this is our home folder, so if you started uh, that command on this uh, folder, or this directory, then it'll start it from here. If you start from like your downloads folder, then it'll start from your downloads and so on and so forth, whatever folder you start at, that will be your uh, root folder in, uh, in here, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it if you wanna use Python uh, for a quick way to transfer files and the bad thing about this one is that you can't really upload it back to your server so uh, I'll show you another method later on to do that uh, it's similar to this but it'll allow you to upload back to your server computer that's running this okay uh, anyways that is the, uh, the commands I'll post you in the description um, real simple if you have Python installed you should be installed in most distributions already Anyways, that's all for this one.